Starting with series 12, um, right now I'm just kind of sorting each figure into their own pile. I should get my laminated sheet, um, wizard, and then I'm going to complete whatever I can. So like, here's the rock star. I already, I already put together one of her and that guy, prospector. So I'm just going to kind of do that and then go from there see what I have. To mail, we have a 7,000 part order. I have a brick store file ready to go. Have it uploaded in less than two hours. All put away. It's tempting. These are Wiley Fuse Bot. He got into the, the wrong spot. These 16 figures with accessories, 149 lots. Don't know why it says 150 items. So there, oh, there must be two of something in one of them. There's the bin. I can open and close it and add stuff to it. I won't be, won't be adding stuff to it for a while, I guess. I'm not sure, but here's all the, the files right here, the bookstore file. These I'm taking to convention. I just added two random heads to these gestures because I didn't have a head, and the legs, torso, and headgear were going to get me less than $3, so these will go on my $5 stand. Just adding a random head to the head, so there's that. All right, I just counted 12 lots are already in the system, so 59 new lots here, 166 items, $171 out of just one drawer. That is great. I just love that I can just do that, just grab a drawer, and it's hard to get in with these bars here. Oh my goodness. Why am I trying to film this? There. I got it in. Perfect. All right, series four is sorted. Let's see. Uh, I'm, I only had a head in the headpiece of that guy, so he's back in there. Um, I'm gonna keep one of these. This is the hazmat guy. It's the only part I have to the hazmat. I have five heads for some reason. Um, so we have parts to that, 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 that. We have parts to every figure here, except yeah, every at least there's, at least there's one piece to every figure here. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. So, all right, got the file built. Just got to go through and delete as obviously probably not gonna have a complete gnome. He's worth five seventy-six or three. SpongeBob. Let's see if we can get that complete. Series four, not as spectacular. I did save a lot more than the other one. There's a lot of complete figures in there, or almost complete, just so I can relist. So it's only one, two. This is three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen parts different. Parts of different figures, and there's like one of that, and one of the musketeer, one of the hockey player. So there's not very many uh, left over. So anyway, just pulled in the pricing. It's about 76 bucks. I only have one of these lots out of 38 in my store. This ice skater head. Just got a remark there, 243. So these are a lot of new lots still. So it's still great. I'll get this uh, put away, and then. I want to put one to convention there. Some build the minifig station parts. I just have a little imperfections, and then these did not go in the drawer. So there's some lost ones. Then we're going to move on to these three. Go from there. Here we go. I used some out of these ones as well. I didn't do Kai today because I didn't. It wasn't full enough. It'll get there. So that's what's there, there, and there. So those are all. Pretty good, couldn't close. And then I'll get the numbers here in a moment. So here's the lineup. Lots of complete figures going up. And some, some parts. All right, good day. Good way to end the day, I guess. We had one, two, I think three, four items out of 17 in the store. 
110 dollars that is so nice there's some simple drawers create some good stuff so it's yeah it's 2 13 i'm gonna quit for today and come back later tonight watch some football and do some stuff uh probably just do this for tonight and uh i do have to edit add my clip art to edit some clip art and stuff for my videos and get that done it's the first thing i'll do tonight at like six when i come back down so awesome day tomorrow's the day we're gonna hit it unless somebody buys a lot all right so i was able to pull um three three of the parts that we out of the four we needed for this set i, we, I don't have that in my store so i have that on my list it's four cents from bricklink so but where am I getting this from? Along with that droid carrier, um, whatever it's called. And other sets that we've recently have put together. Um, this is three years ago. <laughs> Epic $100 Lego haul. I made a video. It's one of my first videos, actually. So it's, it's I don't know if I'll, I'll link it or not. I'll probably forget. Just search on YouTube $100, $100 rummage hyphen garage hyphen yard sail finder just yeah it was amazing it, i just i'm getting into it now like i went through some of the stuff it was two totes <laughs> for a hundred dollars it was incredible they had a couple lego sets they're selling for like three to five bucks each bigger sets i'm like it's like do you have any more and they said yeah we have some we're not sure if they're complete like there's water in our basement floor and i was like uh Okay, what do you want for it? Like hundred bucks? All right, I'll take it all. I will take it all. There's that SpongeBob set right there. Um, is there? Is that? Is is that really in there? I think I saw that bag in there. So there's just some amazing sets. Um, and some of them I think I. Oh, that's where I got that droid Sith, um, whatever with uh, this guy in there. I just completed that one. I'm missing one piece, I think. It's close to me. Is it completed? It is completed. Yeah, it was completed. I got a part price. It probably was on the video that I wasn't recording on. So, anyway, I'm excited to get start, get through some of this stuff. I'm not even sure if this is worth three eight three four the SpongeBob set, but it's almost complete. It's uh, Friday morning here. eBay sales. Sold a classic Darth Vader for twenty two. Has the old gray head in there. It's a new Lord of the Rings guy that from the sets I parted out a while ago. So the coral helmet, one football card. That's my sales number. Alright. Eight days for the Lego show at the mall there. It's like twelve vendors. Maybe ten, maybe eight. There's a lot. I sell trade. So our sales, eleven eleven. 10 on Bricklink, 5 on Brickall. Well, that's that's a good number. 15 sales in the last 24 hours. 832 items, 189 lots, $302. So, not bad. I'll definitely take that. What's the big one? 36 lots for $12. 26 lots for 50. And 26 to 25. So, nothing too crazy. Number one, the first part is a base plate in the file cabinet. I just grabbed it. And uh, I'm starting a clip to talk about these boxes. I really do not like these boxes that don't have the lips that fold in on the side. Um, but these ones are 10 by 10 inches and they fit the base plate just perfectly. I've shipped, I think, like four or five base plates in one of these now. I just build the box and it fits perfectly in there. So I'll be using those for that and not for sets anymore. Uh, I don't have any sets that have base plates like that that I'm completing anymore anyway. So, yeah, that's what I'm talking about. The ones that boxes like this are just so much better. Because stuff actually can fall out <laughs> of these boxes because they're just not tightly secured and closed. So. Order 7. Three things I built yesterday and a new J Pyro head. Uh, I think everything but maybe a few of these heads. But definitely everything I uploaded this week in this order. 90%, uh, 80% was from yesterday. Got the CMF stuff right there. CMF. Some CMF heads I uploaded here. Uh, new Harry Potter that I just parted out this week. And CMF that I built and uploaded yesterday. So, great order. 
Definitely my favorite order of the day. I mean, favorite as an easiest. Uh, yeah. Just uh, two lots, $32. Thank you. Going out. All right. There's Lloyd. Someone commented he needs a girlfriend. And he needs a pay raise. Or new batteries, at least, so he gets neglected. Uh, there it is. And then I got my first, from sets I sold, the first buyer that said a piece was missing. The, the piece on the back of the uh, motorboat just said this piece was not there. So, don't know how that happens. It, mistakes happen, but either way, I'm going to send it out, complete that set, and uh, keep on making sure I double check everything before you put it for sale. Here we go. Quest to half a million parts is about to be completed. So we got bag five, six, four. So why do I get it in uh, not by sort of by color? Because it's easier to see when you have a bag of like 30 different lots, it's easier to see what's in there when you have like 10 different colors of parts. And the person said it's actually easier for them because it just goes by set. They part a couple sets and all that's how they organize it. I don't know. But either way, guys, I'm going to pull up the file. And um, these are all the <laughs> drawers. Uh, up, up until anything in this one and this one, all the small drawers. So there's like one, looks like two, three, maybe four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 13. There's like 13 or 14, maybe 15 in these two columns of small drawers with room in them. I'm going to divide all these up by three because <clears throat> I have to divide as size I can because uh, now I'm getting into the acro mills over here that's where these ones came from the best part is i, I i've sold most of my acro mills or gave them some away to, to ralph that he needed um dividers but these ones just work just fine it's awesome it's, I've, i just have hundreds of these so you know it's it, it just works like normal i guess There's, i don't see any difference in using acro mills or not got a lot you can put a lot of tension on there it won't move it that's one thing about acrimals i love is that these divider sides are awesome these ones easily come out like they just easily come out with a little pressure some of the drawers are not molded very good or even the dividers and they just fall out and things get mixed sometimes so but you, you learn to work with it and deal with it and figure out what to put in drawers together what not to like i wouldn't put two small pieces in a drawer i'd put bigger ones it's nothing that, that that small here you know i try not to um just in case they get mixed it's easier to fix it up real quick you got these two parts so i got these two bags these are the same parts in this in different bags hmm look at that one's the same there's different parts. I have to see what comes out of these. I don't know how that happens. There's uh, eight of that side in this bag and seven of the other side. This bag gets six of the other side to make 14 of the one and seven of the other to make 14. So ultimately the parts are here. I just had to make sure uh, I put them in the right. The right ones are in the right one. Alright, it's 8.38 a.m. and we're on bag number five. Six and that. It's probably gonna, it's definitely gonna take less than an hour, right about an hour to finish this. We are building up drawers. Uh, I used up drawer number five thousand. That's all I had numbered up to. I need a large drawer for these, so gotta quickly do that. They can get sixteen in a line until it runs out of the maximum. So to a number some more up all right here it is the final final numbers here 6,665 items 1267 dollars 
what it started at 1300 so let's uh, upload it I think it's good to upload <laughs> let me just uh, this is the moment where's a celebratory oh here he is he's celebrating celebrating early Lloyd it's 904 a.m. 15,462 lots and 503,881 over half a million Lego pieces in our Brickling store all around it's everywhere and it goes back over here and over to there now on that spot right in there Ah, keep on uploading. Gotta keep going. All right, so I have piles. I sold the plain black truster guy for like three bucks today, so I wrote down the name that was in the program there. Um, a lot of this stuff, some of this stuff is not even plain, so I get rid of all the junk. And I started saving a few that I'm not gonna sell. Because I'll use them. I use this for hockey. Um, tor the tan ones are really rare. I only have one. They're hard to find. Dark tan. Also, I don't sell because I use them for the Ewoks. Dark blue. Um, I guess I'll keep them for now. They're only for like the hockey player. Dark brown is for the newer Chewbacca's. I think that's all it comes on. So, like this one. Yes, yeah, so I could build this guy if I wanted to with one of these. Might as well. Um, so, dark green is to wizard. And then these reddish brown ones. Uh, there's more Chewbacca stuff, so I might as well just keep them. If you saw, I had more Chewbacca, and there's actually old brown in there too. I guess it's an old brown color. And then going to old gray, it looks like I have two of those. I don't know what I'd use dark bluish gray for. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to probably maybe sell these four that have the tan that must go to something, and then keep the rest. At least I don't have to do work to fix the arms, it's, it's better. So get rid of this, and then I'm going to start working on the red, the bigger one. There's the blue, and then the black are next, bigger, and then... I keep most of the white because I use them for ghosts and stuff and other things. The yellow also for Spongebob, so I'm going to keep most of those. Um, but right now I'm just going to take... I don't know... Make sure some are the newer... So like four... Four of each. Two, three. Just in case I need them for something, I don't know. I think I'm just going to keep all these because I use these for uh, Heroic Knight. There's other things that it goes to that I actually use those for. I've actually had to buy those before. I've bought those, I've bought those, I've bought the white ones before. Never had to buy the red or the black or the blue, as far as I remember. I've bought some of the other colors I put in here. Um, so yeah, so get to work here. So on Brick Store the other day, I was trying to look up like uh, sticker to printed tiles by color because there's just a ton on the screen. I didn't know how. Somebody sent a comment. I should probably say who it was, or I don't know who it was, so I can't say it, but I have to look it up. Um, that there's this little lock over here. So I put in plain torso, and then I'm going to click the well, this is not applicable. Hit click the lock. So it just brings up the one plain torso. This NBA, I guess, is different. And then this this one. So, and then from over here, so I'm going to start work on my red torsos. I'm going to go down to red and see what happens. And it just gives me every combination of red torso that is available, I guess, in the plain. I don't know if I agree with that. Some, no. Don't have, they don't, I guess none of them have different arm colors, just different hand colors. So I guess I'll agree with it. So, I don't know why white's in there, but what the difference of this one is. Plain torso. A 973 CO1 or 973 CO2. CO1. 
Anyway, maybe this one has the white arms, because I do see some white arms. But anyway, that's the way to do it. And then if I want to go to black, there's black. Uh, there's blue. Um, what am I good looking at? White. I need white. So it looks like all the combinations I may need in yellow are here that I'm going to do. So I'm doing white is there, yellow is there, black is there, red is there, and blue is there. So this is perfect. Perfect way to work it. All right. First upload is just about ready. Um, I added four of these. These go to one of the Ewoks because that's... I had them, they had the tan arms, they didn't come in the tan arms, so I created those and then four of these minifigs and uh, a lot of the bad stuff. That's my stuff I'm keeping. It's the drawer. I mean, I had a, another shoebox bin uh, with, you know, a bunch of them, so that should all be all I'm keeping. There may be a few more I throw in there, I'm not 100% sure, but this first upload is 92 items and 8 lots and $74. So I just gotta assign these numbers. The only one I there was two other combinations of these that I already had in my store. I had three total. Um, I'm adding more of these ones because there was a bunch that had the hands and didn't have to touch them. Um, oh, actually, I didn't even add these yet. I'm just not even gonna add stuff to some of them. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, thirteen. I gotta I gotta go back and add thirteen of those. Part plain. Or so, uh, right there in red, and 13. So that is now there. I gotta double check and make sure I don't have it in my store already. Let's see if it brings a remark in. It does not. Just gotta price it. 23 cents each. I'm gonna drop it to 20. And we're gonna get this done. I have black torso. So I built two different characters. There's this is like 22 with that torso, but. Uh, that's the one I just sold today for like three bucks, but it's actually just only two dollars, so I changed it, lowered it for future references. And this is the torsos, and we have sixty-two dollars. And the final upload, the few yellows and some whites, and about thirty-eight bucks. I think it was like a hundred and fifty bucks for all those blank torsos, and we still have like the better ones are mostly there. Some some of the ones I uploaded are still there too, but so that's nice. Keep on uploading. What do I do next? What do I got? Um, I have to list on eBay. I don't have a pen here. They're over there. I don't really have a schedule. Blank torsos, I'm going to cross it off. It's almost done. It'll be done in two minutes after I shut off this clip. eBay supplies. I get a free coupon. I got to order a list on eBay. is all I have on there. So I took a picture of this for like a clip art when I built these a few weeks back. I think I sold every single one. I'm going to put this in my build a minifig book where I have the pictures. Um, so I'm going to try to build more probably next week. Just got to get that ready. I guess I'm going to do these sets. Got to get these sets done and then move on to Chima maybe. All right. Three sets. All ready for sale. Be at the mall coming up. I got to put that in a bag. I have loose parts going around. Especially in these ones that don't have the flap. All right. First up is the uh, Lion Tribe of Chima. I think this is all. I'm gonna go check real quick. I did bring out my cases that were shoved in there. Like number three is empty. It used to be full of torsos, um, but they all sold. Or I ended up moving some to the top, top or the top one, so I didn't have to like take them apart and go into them more. Save time in the future. This is number two. It only has like three things in it. So, that is uh, where we're going to go. And it might be filling up some of those. I just feel like there's just going to be a big quantity of some of these that, I don't know, I don't want them hogging up room in my drawers, like up here. And I'm going to make up a couple eBay lots as well with these. So this is giving me an opportunity to really label up Chima. So I just did... I just wrote Lion, Long Tooth Linux. Those are the other three Lions other than these three that I actually sell. Sorry, I try to sell or buy parts for sometimes. These ones I probably won't, or I may at some point, but I, at least I know it's in there. And then I'm just leaving up other drawers that don't have the Rhino, the Braptor, Surfanger, Mammoth, Shadow Wind. So I'm just trying to label up other ones so I can call it done when I'm done. And 
the next time I get a bunch of Shima, I can easily sort it all away and go drawer, drawer by drawer and out, upload it like this, like I'm doing like this. Just do it as they get full. All right, Shima Lion Tribe has been conquered, just about. Uh, these are eBay, got a, a lot of four. And then I did a lot of two, the Lioness Warrior and Little Ella. And then 10 of Lennox, because I just had so many of them. And 10 of Leonidas, which I'll just put them in that wall. And once they sell out, they sell out. I won't worry about relisting those. Um, I thought this was a better, uh, better avenue to go. I actually forgot to do these Lion Warrior ones. These are just, maybe I might put him on there. Uh, these are convention. Build a minifig stuff that's kind of faded a little bit. But I could put more in a convention, but I don't want to flood too many Shima in there. It, it's so easy just to, if I find that it's selling really well, I can just go and delete a bunch off of my Brickling store at that point. But uh, all these are all new lots, $32 and $64.85 we're adding. Thank you.